Welcome to Processing for Arduino Episode 1, Buttons. So in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, how to put this little program together. Um, this is just a simple two buttons, um, an on and off, and uh, on the Arduino here, I just have a uh, LED on pen 13, and what we're going to do is you click on, it turns LED on, you click off, it turns it off. Now, you could use this to control other things like relays, turn the relay off and on, or turn the motor off and on. But for this tutorial, we're just going to show you with LED. And you could take it and use it uh, however you'd like from there. But um, yeah, this is the program right here. Now, I only got the two buttons, but uh, remember, you could put as many buttons as you want. And you could uh, make this window bigger. And we'll get into that in just a minute here. But uh, yeah, you just push the on and it turns it on push off and it turns it off. Now we are using uh, a wired connection USB cable. You can do this Bluetooth. Um, that will be a future episode uh, not very far off. Probably about three more episodes into this series we'll get to the Bluetooth. Um, this episode I'm going to go over buttons. The next one I'm going to go over sliders and then I'm going to go over knobs. And then what we'll probably do is take and combine all three together and then do um, a Bluetooth control and show you how to do that. So, all right, um, let me bring up uh, the processing and the Arduino uh, sketch. Uh, we'll look at the processing sketch first. So I'll catch you over there in just a second. All right, I've got processing opened up here and I've got the sketch loaded in. Now, if you don't already have processing, um, just go to processing.org um, and you can download this. It's completely free. Um, there is a place where you can donate if you would like, but otherwise it is completely free to download. If you're having any troubles installing it or getting the download, just go to their website as well. And there's some help on there. Otherwise you can do on YouTube. There's a lot of videos on how to download and install this, but I'm not going to go into that because plenty of other people have done it. And also, like I said, on their website, that's covered. All right. Now this sketch, um, you can go if you don't want to type it in. I do recommend typing it in. It helps you learn. But being this is the first episode and you just want to get started, you can go ahead and go to the website and you can copy this and then paste it right into the uh, the processing IDE. All right, now with that, um, we're using two libraries. Now, um, the second one here, the, the processing.serial, that is built into the IDE, so don't worry about it. You already have that one. But for uh, making these buttons and the sliders and uh, the knobs we're going to be working with, we're using a library called Control P5. Get that, it is simple. Just go under uh, Sketch, Import Library, Add Library, Oh, excuse me, I, where is that? Import library. Yeah, it was add library. What am I thinking? <laughs> oh, right here, we're going to type in LP5. And right here, this is the library you need. Um, you just uh, click on it and uh, click install. Now, I already have it installed, so I don't have to. But you're going to need that library. And once you have it installed um, in any other sketches, you don't have to worry about downloading it again. It will be saved. So, all right. With that, we don't need to download anything else. So, what we're doing right here is we're adding our two libraries. Then we're doing the serial port. Uh, just don't change this. You can, but then and everything you have to change... Like right here, we're doing it port. You'd have to change the name of all of it. It just makes it difficult. And for most people, they just do it this way. So it's kind of universal. So I do not recommend changing that. Then we're uh, doing it. We're creating our control object here. It's the control P5. And we're calling that CP5. Um, and that's uh, right here too, CP5. This is another thing. You don't want to change it. If you do, you're going to have to change it on everything. It's kind of universal. Other people that use this library, they usually tend to use this. That way it's a little easier for other people to understand when they're looking at their sketches. So once again, don't change that. You can if you want, but I don't recommend it. 
Then we're setting up our font. Um, once again, don't change this. All right, now for the size of this, we're doing a 300 by 300. And you can go bigger, you can go smaller. Just remember, you're going to have to change your button positions and sizes if you do that. Um, then what we're doing is we're setting up um, our, the port that we're communicating the Arduino with. Now, I'm using COM3. The way to figure this out is just go in your Arduino IDE. And here I can bring that up quick and show you. If you don't know what port you're using, <clears throat> you just go under, um, under your tools and in your port here. And you see the port that you use here for uploading. As long as you don't change what USB you know, port you're using um, between uploading um, your Arduino sketch and controlling it with processing, that's the one you use. Now I'm using COM3. If you're using a different one, you're going to have to use, um, change that, you know, COM1, COM5, whatever. Now that's for PC. If you're using Linux or Mac, that is different. Um, you will have to check into that. I don't have either so I don't really know um, what the names on those are. I have run across videos and it didn't seem too hard to do. So just check that out if you're using Linux or a Mac. Then we're also setting our baud rate and 9600, that's common. I would just stick with that. And then to make sure in your Arduino IDE that matches as well. And here again, this is another um, line of code. This has to deal with the, uh, the control P5 library, don't just don't change it. Um, I don't recommend it because it'll start messing, messing you up if you do that. Uh, next, we're setting up a font because we're going to use it um, in multiple buttons and stuff. So we're just making a, um, uh, a name for it that we can stick into the sketch instead of having to type everything in each time. Now, if this don't work on uh, your computer, you should have this. You should. You can, uh, if you go into the, the help section up here and uh, you look up fonts, there's, um, it'll show you in there how you can find what all fonts you have that you can change to and use. So I, I'm not going to show you. Just check that out. It's real. It, they explain it really easily. So then what we got here, this is our font size, and I've got mine set to 20 change it to whatever you want. Then what we're doing is we're adding our buttons. And I've got the two buttons and we've got the on button and the off button. Now the name that you name the button, which is right here, is what's also going to be displayed on the button. So just remember that. Now I have it in capital letters. And remember when we get down here, uh, to our voids that um, for what happens when those are pushed you have to have those capitalized as well they have to match all right um, so then um, for the buttons to set the position you set your x and y right here the dot set position then you set your size you want the button and i'm just doing 120 by 70 and right here we're setting the font and that's that font we set up right here then we're setting the color of the background, and uh, this is an RGB. So this is the background of the button. That's why it shows red, because 255, that's just red, zero, zero. Then the foreground is green, and that's when you hover over the button. Here, I'll open it up and show you. You see how it's red, but when you hover over it, it turns green. That's what that one is. Now you can change these to whatever you want. Um, and actually, um, to select a color, you can go under here, under Tools, and there's a color selector. And you can just drag this around until you get whatever color you want that showed up right here. Whatever color is in that box, if that's what you want to use, you can get your values right here. Your red, green, and blue RGB. All right. Um, then we're also setting our... Um, the text color for the button and I'm just doing zero 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 that of course is black and that's it for that button and down here we're just doing the same thing except um, it's on a different position uh, otherwise it's the same size and the same colors everything we're just naming this off button this is the one that's going to turn it off all right and that's it for our void setup now down in the void draw, we're just uh, doing the background color 
and we're setting that as black, so it's 0, 0, 0. Once again, change that to whatever you want. And then what we have here is our void on and our void off. This is um, <coughs> the section of code that's called when you push the button. So if you push the on button, it would call this, and what we're doing is a port.write, and we're just sending the number 1 to the Arduino. And when we get the Arduino sketch, that's going to tell it to turn it on. Otherwise, if you push the off button, it sends a, it does a port dot right and sends the number two to the Arduino. That's all there is to it for turning the LED off and on. Now you can have it do other things as well. Um, maybe when you <coughs> you clicked it, you can maybe want to change the color of the button or something, or change the background, or there's other things you can do. But I'm just because this is a beginner's tutorial, I'm trying to keep it simple. I'll let you go ahead and play with it and experiment. And that's actually the best way to learn how to use this, is um, just play with it. Um, have fun. There's not really any way you're going to be able to destroy your Arduino. Um, I really can't think of any way you're going to do that. At least just playing around with the LEDs for now. Um, if you were trying to run a big electric motor off it, yeah, then trying to draw too many amps, you might burn something out, but... Uh, like I said, play with this. Um, have fun with it. Just try changing things and see what happens. That is the best way to learn this. But, um, all right, that uh, I do believe is all we need to go over in the uh, the processing part of it. So let me see here. Where did I? Oh, I completely closed out the Arduino sketch there. Let me open that back up. Here we go. All right. Now, in the Arduino sketch, um, our void setup, um, I just simplified things instead of up above here, setting up an integer, you know, calling it LED, setting pin 13. I just, to simplify this, it's just we're doing a pin mode for 13. And uh, also remember on your Arduino board, most of them anyway, pin 13 has a built-in LED, so you don't have to stick one in like I did. But I put it in there because it made it easier to see on camera. So, um, yeah, we're just setting that as an output. If you use a different pin, just change that here. Uh, then we're setting our serial.begin, and, of course, we're using 9600 in uh, processing. We want that to match here. And now, down in the void loop, all we're doing is checking when serial data is available. So we're doing an if serial.available. And... Uh, it just takes and we're doing an integer and we're sticking that whatever it receives into there and then we're doing two if statements if the value uh, <clears throat> is a one a number one that's sent or yeah, received by the Arduino it's digital rating pin 13 high if it receives a value of two it just digitally writes the the pin low that's all there is to it. I mean, this is pretty easy. But like I said, play around with this. Um, you could add a couple extra buttons and then add a couple extra LEDs. Um, you can even add an extra button that turns all the LEDs off at once and turns them all on at once and then have it where you can turn them on individually. Um, just play around with it. That is one of the, the best and easiest ways you're going to learn how this works. And the nice thing is processing, if you're already fairly familiar with the Arduino IDE, processing the language is extremely similar. Um, the way it's set up is the same, but, you know, there's different, some slightly differences in terms and stuff, but it's very, very similar. And if you're, you're good with the Arduino IDE, you're going to pick this up really fast. All right, well, I think we can go ahead and wrap this episode up. Um, if you found this information useful, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Um, our next episode, we're going to be taking a look at sliders. And then uh, the episode after that, we'll look at knobs. And then after that, we'll look at Bluetooth. So that's the next few episodes. And after the Bluetooth one, uh, haven't quite thought what to do next after that. Probably what we'll do is take a look at bringing values from the Arduino into the processing program that we make. That's actually, that's probably what we will do. So all right, Tom. With that, I'll say thank you for joining us here today. I hope you have a great day, and remember, have fun building.